Hello. So Tom Reed here, uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Ran into this lady. Your name, ma'am? Marie Perkins. All right, Marie, and uh, I take these videos and I upload them to YouTube. You cool with that? Yes. Okay. And it, how old are you? 42. 42. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. And you, you live down around this area? Yes, I do. Okay. And what kind of employment have you had in your life? Um, I work at DeVos. What is that? We do cleaning and like straightening up rooms and breaking them down. Oh, okay. And how long have you been doing that? Um, for over a year. Okay. Uh, any substance abuse problems at all? Um, I smoke marijuana. Okay, I don't think that's a big deal anymore <laughs> now that it's legal. And on that, I ask everybody this because it comes up a lot. Yeah, uh, do you consider marijuana a gateway drug? No. Yeah, I guess not. It's all you smoke, right? Yes. And um, how long have you been frequenting this area right here? Well, I was homeless like a year and some ago, but I've been in my place over a year. Okay. And and how did the homeless stuff happen? Um, because I came to move closer to family and thought a family was going to let me live with them, and they didn't. Okay. And I became homeless and had to fight through it myself. Okay. And how long uh, were you homeless? For a year and a half. To really? I mean, like, no place to live at all? I rented, like, hotel rooms, and I had a couple roommates, but it didn't turn out. Okay. And uh, ever end up actually spending time out in the street? Yes, a lot. Yeah. And how would you summarize that experience? Um, it taught me a lot. It taught me how to get up and get what I want if I want it. Mm -hmm. Was there any silver lining, anything that good came out of it? Yes, I got a place. I got help from different agencies that seen me fighting to help myself. Oh, okay, good. So your things are going a lot better now. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. I still come down here and show support to people I was out here with. Oh, so that's what you do. Okay, yes. That's nice of you to do. Your favorite childhood memory? Um, when I was here with my grandmother. Okay, and how long ago was that? Um, 20, over 22 years ago. Oh, wow. And favorite movie? Um, what movie? Jason Lyric. Favorite book? Uh, favorite what? Book. Um, Dr. Seuss. Oh, uh, you know, I got that a lot today. Yeah. And favorite music? Um, I like old school, old school, like jazz. Okay. You know, I want to ask, uh, as far as people that perceive the homeless sometimes, what would you say them is the most misunderstood aspect about it? Like that people don't get if they've never lived that life? Um, I don't think it's really a misunderstanding. I just think like some people that understand when you down, you gotta, you know, you gotta get up on your own. Sometimes with people help too. Yeah, now who helped you transition? What agency? Um, I worked with Douglas J. Um, I worked with this place right here, Pine Rest on Kermis, because they got like a street reach program. Yeah. I worked with the Salvation Army and um, Community Rebuilders. Okay. Um, do you have any like family like close to you around here? Yes, I do. My whole, both sides of my family here. So you keep in touch with them? You yes. Do you think support had a lot to do with it? Yes, because I didn't have too much support. Okay, good. You got any questions for me? No, thanks. Well, I appreciate you waiting. Sorry I had to take off. Okay, it was I nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. I don't expect this many people to show up at once. So. I didn't know someone told me. Yeah, have a oh, good day. Yep, you too. Thank you.